Welcome to Capsule. Capsule is the preferred CRM software for over 10,000 small and mid-sized businesses, helping manage your company's contact, sales, and project management. In this video, we'll show you how to set up your account and explore Capsule's features. Let's dive in. We recommend the first thing to begin with once you've created your account is adding your contacts. You may be coming from a different CRM platform, in which case we do have some options for transferring your data through a third-party service, like with Import2. If you have a CSV file for all of your contacts you'd like to bring into Capsule, then you can also use the built-in Import tool, which intuitively takes you through adding these contacts, mapping those fields, and even create new custom fields for people or organizations that Capsule doesn't prompt for directly. You can also manually add custom fields for your records in the account settings. Once you're happy with your new contacts and how they're being displayed on screen, you can confirm to import your CSV file. Once you click this, you can leave the page and you'll be notified via email when the import is complete. Now that the contacts have been imported successfully, we can go and view that list of contacts here. If you ever need to redo an import, you can use the list of your most recent imported contacts, delete them in bulk, and start the import over again from step one. So once you've imported and added some contacts into your account, you can now use the list view I mentioned before here to filter for the people and or organizations that you'd like to see. In this example displayed, I've just added a filter for people record types and then added another filter for a custom field value I've applied to certain contacts in the account, which now only displays those contact records meeting that criteria. If we go into an individual record, you can see all the information displayed about the contact on the left-hand panel, so basic information I've added, like name, email address, and location, which you can edit by selecting the option above. In the middle of the page, you'll see any logged activities, completed tasks, and stored emails for this record. You can also click the Files tab for any saved files you've attached to any logged activities or emails stored to the contact, as well as click into the appropriate tabs for any opportunity or project that this contact is associated with in your Capsule account. I've shown where the details on records display, but it might be helpful to showcase a few of the contact management features that can really help with segmenting, adding context, and overall account organization and I'll show you how you can set those up. As I mentioned during the import section, you can add custom fields when you're importing contacts if you have that data in your import file, but you can also customize and add custom fields from the account settings. To create a brand new custom field, you can go into the account settings and click the dedicated section for custom fields. You can then select the record category that you're creating the field for, contacts, opportunities, or projects. When you add the new field, you'll need to select the data type, so make sure to use the appropriate one for the data you'll be adding onto the record via this custom field entry. Another commonly used and incredibly helpful feature is the tags feature, which allows you to group together and add context to your records in the account. You can add a new tag directly on the individual record itself, as seen here. If you're an admin, you can also create and manage existing tags within the account settings, tags and data tags, and create your new tag from there. Next up, we have data tags, which is another useful feature here in Capsule that combines a tag with custom fields you add to it, which allows you to record subsequent information to a record and keeps things a bit more tidy than separate custom fields. To show an example of this, let's go create a new tag in the account settings, then we convert to a data tag, and I'll go ahead and add my custom field options for this specific data tag I'm creating. Once done, now we can go onto a contact record. I'll add the data tag just like I would a normal tag. And then I'm presented with the options I set up for additional info I want to record. This is really useful if you'd like to select multiple options at the same time as well. Now that we have the basics on contact management, let's move on to the sales pipeline in Capsule. A sales pipeline is where your opportunity records will progress through giving you a visual depiction of where your sales are in their life cycle until ultimately either won or lost. You want to add and or edit the milestones, which are those stages that your opportunities will move through, and customize this to fit the needs of your specific sales process. 
depending on your plan level in Capsule. You can even create multiple sales pipelines for your different sales approaches, which multiple of these would become available on the growth plan and above. Once you have your pipeline set up and some opportunities added in the account, you can view your opportunities for a selected pipeline on the visual pipeline and can even drag and drop a specific opportunity to a new milestone from there. You can also view a list of opportunities in the list view tab here, which also allows you to filter using the list filters, similar to how we did for the contacts. Much like for sales, we also have project records in Capsule, which you can set up a project board for where the projects will move through the stages you've customized for there until ultimately completing and reaching close status for the project. Similar to customizing the sales pipeline, you can add or edit the stages that would best apply to your project's common process here. Multiple project boards also become available on the growth plan and above if you have a variety of processes for different project types you'd like to customize a board for. If you're looking to add any integrations for things like accounting, email storing, marketing, and more, Capsule integrates with 70 plus services that you can view on our integrations page here. Once you're ready to start collaborating with your teammates, you can easily invite them to join the account by navigating to the account settings, users and teams, add user. You'll then be prompted to add the user's details, including their primary email address they'll be using, which is where they'll be sent the invitation email to finish setting up their user record once you click Invite User. This overview covers just the basics, but if you'd like to learn more, feel free to check out our other videos on topics like automation, reports, and user roles, just to name a few. And if you have any questions or need further assistance with setting up Capsule, do feel free to contact our friendly support team, which you can do directly from our contact form here or by emailing support at capsulecrm.com.